So I called the ambulance. I just want to be there with him. I just want to give my support. Tonight it was really rough night, very scary. Um, Cyrus and me was getting ready to go to sleep. We was washing the bottles. We put the baby ready to sleep, and um, Cyrus just stopped, and he started feeling this extremely pain coming from his back to the front of his stomach, uh, lower tummy and I gave him medicine painkillers because we thought it was like maybe something like in his back I don't know um, I gave him water I sat him down and he couldn't move and he never felt those pains before he was in extremely pain so I called the ambulance the ambulance came got him and they didn't allow me to go with him because of the baby. The baby's sleeping and it's not environment for the baby. And so it was just the two of us. So I, I had to stay with the baby here. He's there and I just feel like, I don't know, I just wanna be there with him. I just wanna give my support to him. And I packed everything already all the baby stuff, food, everything. Um, I also packed his like extra clothes for him, um, toothbrush, everything. So whenever he sent me okay to go there, um, I can bring those stuff for him. And hopefully they allow me to go with the baby. I'm just waiting for the baby to wake up because it is late at night. It's like 5 a.m. right now. Um, I still didn't receive no update. Yeah, I called the hospital um, to know if they have any update. They don't. Um, Cyrus doesn't answer me because he's in extremely pain, like it's hard. So I don't know what to do. I'm just here and Romeo is behind me right now. I don't know what to do right now. All I gotta do is wait and try to call the hospital again and him and wait for the baby to wake up so i can go i have everything packed here all the baby stuff sorry it's my stuff right now the baby's sleeping <laughs> i just got here he's resting they could get his pain under control they've done a ct scan on him and they found out that he have kidney stones so they check in what size it is if he needs surgery or not so i'm just here waiting the baby went to sleep and yeah hey babe are you okay yeah i was kind of here i know for so long i know it exhausted me but I'm so sorry for that, babe. I got the pain under control now. You're so strong. I'm right here, okay? I love you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I love you. What? The baby's right there. Yeah. This we're here, crazy. okay? Now we're here. I've never felt something like this before. It's wild. But we're here now, okay? Now try to rest and the doctor will be here soon. Okay. Right now, his pains keep going up, so... The nurses are coming to give him more medicine. Hi, Mom. Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, God, I was awake so much. Just see how everything is. Yeah, they gave me pain medication again, and I'm feeling, um... I know, but right what did they decide, though? They decided that I'm going to stay here overnight because my pain is very bad. So they want to monitor the pain, and... They gave me a, a medication that's gonna help me um, urinate more so that it will pass the kidney stone. And the size oh, of that's good. Yeah, so they're not gonna give me surgery unless obviously it's really, really necessary. But they said that I could pass it, but it's five millimeters big, the kidney stone. Five, five millimeters is like uh, the fifth side of an inch. Yeah, they said if that's it was. 
they said if it was six millimeters, they would have to like, you know, like um, do surgery or do something to, to take it out right away. But they said oh, I could, yeah. I you, yeah, it's, it, it's okay, Cyrus, you're gonna be okay. But is your liver okay? My liver is good, they checked everything, so it's oh. just my kidney. Thank you, God. So, Amen. So God is good. Son, I'm so sorry we are not there. I hope you forgive us. <laughs> Mom, it's okay. You're, you're, I'll be fine. You know, God will make you stronger through our trials. Amen. I mean, I was definitely I suffering a, a lot, but what gave me strength yeah. during this as well was remembering that Jesus Christ I'm suffered so a lot for our sins. So, you know, yeah. I remember that, you know, and... I mean, that, that pain is like still like stuck in my head. It's like... It's like worse than a labor pain. We're definitely filming this journey of me recovering and, and getting through this because, you know, we have to be no, strong. We'll be okay. You're going up to the room now. We are here in your new room, right? Yeah, this is the room I'm going to be um, spending the night in. And it's cozy, the bed is very comfy. I have a TV right in front of me. I think he's here, he's sleeping right now. Yeah, this is a crazy experience. Obviously not a good experience, but an experience to gain strength from and, and, and learn from. <laughs> yeah, um, and the ways of pain and um, how to overcome it and stay strong through it. I don't remember the last time I was in a hospital bed like this, probably when I broke my arm. This pain was definitely worse than that. Believe it or not. Yeah, I just really hope that they can give you something so it, it helps like the stone to pass through it and to be smaller. Hopefully they can come also for the lunch so you can eat something. I love you. So we have Tupi here. We made it work, right Tupi? Yeah, we're supporting daddy. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know his nickname that we have for him is Jupi, right? <laughs> Obviously, Kayo is Kayo's name, but Jupi, that's the nickname we came up with just because it matches, right? <laughs> Jupi. Jupi. He likes to chew. Steaming, and he's really cute. <laughs> yeah, we made it work so he can stretch a little bit, can lay down with daddy, and I'm right here. I'm starving, though. I'm gonna get something for us right now. Well, we're still trying to find out if I'm clear to eat yeah. as well, so we'll find out soon. Hopefully, I can. If not, yeah. it's all good, you know? Yeah. I got food for my baby and I'm gonna surprise him. Baby, I got you food. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh my I'll show you what I got you, okay? Right. Here oh we go, babe. <laughs> wow, baby, you're amazing. Thank you. And, um, don't mind me, I'm just really tired. Like, I definitely did not bath. I this. know, of course, babe, but you need to eat because you haven't eaten. I'm down so one for you, one for me. I'm Apple juice, cranberry and grape. This is really good. Your water and some snacks oh throughout the gosh, night. Thanks. I love you. I love you. Brenda and I just took a nap together. I woke up, it's been four hours since I had my last dose of pain medication and I feel perfectly fine, which is kind of crazy. We prayed a lot and my family prayed a lot. The Lord creates miracles, you know, and I feel amazing right now. We're gonna talk to the nurse soon and the urologist, but they think that I might be ready to go home early. That's so exciting. So, um, obviously, I'm not gonna, you know, take advantage and not expect pain to come back, but they said that I won't go back to the same amount of pain as when I came in. So, yeah. now I'm just gonna monitor it and Rest. feel healed. Yeah. We're just gonna get ready to go home and they're yeah. gonna take out my IV. Yay. And then we'll update you guys when the nurse comes in. Hi, how are you? You're going home already? Yeah, that's what the <laughs> urologist said. <laughs> okay. It's a blessing. <laughs> but you're feeling okay? I'm actually feeling good. We took a nap, and then I woke up, and I was like, whoa, I feel good. You look a little more hydrated. Yeah. You ate something. I feel like myself again. I mean, it's been four and a half, five hours now since the last pain medication, so I'm sure it wore out by now. And yeah. you're still doing okay. Yeah. That's good. And she said also, like, um... If he feels like pain, like a lot of pain again, like to give her a call, like that would be a, a number for mm -hmm. her office. Mm -hmm. okay. And that mm -hmm. should be like prescription for pain medication. Huh? Right? And we'll go over all of that. They are surprised we're going home. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, there's no other word for it. Mm -hmm. So, I 
get the discharge papers now soon guys and go over everything instructions when I go home and I'm in shock. I love you too. I'm proud of you too. Thanks for being here to heal me with the spirit of God and everything. I love you. We leave you now. How do you feel, babe? I feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah. We just go home. Yeah. And the uh, nurses and doctors were amazing and I'm grateful. Yeah. That's me good. too. That's good. We did it. We did it. Thanks for everything. And just like that, after a long night and day of suffering, I'm going home healed. And like I said, the nurses and doctors were amazing. Um, and I give full credit to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and my wife, the love of my life. Couldn't have done it without you. And this reminds me of Psalm 22 where it says, He has done it. Right? After all the pain and suffering, the Lord has done it. He has sacrificed himself on the cross for our sins. As it says in Isaiah 53-5, He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. And the punishment that brought us peace was on Him. And by His wounds we are healed. So the Lord went through the worst to save us. And today, as I said before, when I was going through all that pain, it reminded me like, you know, our Lord Jesus Christ went through this pain and more. And so be strong, yeah. That kept me strong because I felt like I was in pain with him. And at the end of the day, it was all for the best cause in the world that the Lord did that. And for me, it was for the cause of becoming stronger and even healthier in my lifestyle, yeah. being more hydrated, right? And, and knowing that things, if you have faith and stay strong, will come out good in the end and you'll come out stronger and better. So whoever's going through any type of pain, don't lose faith and temporary exactly and the best is yet to come we love you guys so much thank you for watching and god bless you all Bye. <gasps>